Yo. What's good? How's it going? What's the word, fam? I hope everybody is doing super well today. Another great Sunday in the books. You know how we do it. Oh, I had some music up and then my fucking window crashed. Hold up. My bad. My fucking bad. Do, 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 do. I had. Where is it? Drop? There it is. What's good? How's it going? If I drop the volume down on this, is the volume? There it is. Yee, 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 yee. <laughs> oh, what up? How we doing tonight? Let's get it cracking. Yo. What it do, baby boo? What it did it did it did it do 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 What a day it has been for me. Oh, not bad for a Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Got through work okay. I hope y'all been doing good. Work was good. I hope everything's going well. Um, we have recently hit my follower goal of 50 followers on Twitch. Thank you so much. We're at 53. I am on my way. I'm on my grind to hit affiliate. Um, the hardest part of that is literally going to be, I've already hit the time, I need one more day, I got the followers, it's going to be the three average viewers across all my time streamed, that's going to be the hard part, but, you know, like, it is what it is, and I think it'll be okay, um. I think it'll be okay. Bam, bam, ba, da, da. Honestly, though. Honestly, though. We're, we're just, you're just do, you know, I'm just doing what I can to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? What is the word? Just plugging my shit real quick. You know how I do. You know how I do that. You know how about how did I mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm blah blah blah. I hope y'all enjoying the music, baby.
you know, I you know, Discord. I love Discord, but at the same time, it's like, hey, what are you gonna do? You know what I mean? Like, hey, uh, fucking, like you need it. You gotta have it, right? In this day and age, if you're not fucking with the Discord on some shit, it's like, I don't know. It's like I have mine. You can come in and drop in and say hello and kick it. I try to be as active as possible, but just, you know, sometimes, what do you do when you're not excited? What do you do when you're not happy? Or, you know what I mean? It's like, you just do what you do, I guess. I don't know, bro. You just make it happen one at a time. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just trying to get by. Make it one more time. I'm just trying to get by. Do, 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 Anyways, anyways, uh, let's see, updated news, new shit going on with me. Well, I finally finished the tree lot at the Home Depot I'm working at, so if you're anywhere in the city of Whittier or in Southern California, you go to the Whittier Home Depot, and you go to the Christmas tree lot, which will be popping, uh, start opens to the public Black Friday. All of the artwork in there, all of the beautiful graffiti characters and holiday drawings i guess you can say or paintings well they're more like paintings they are paintings i painted them with spray paint uh, check them out flick them see what you like that's all me great 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 love working with the team that builds a tree lot over there shout out to og sam yay yay cj it's my dude right there cool cool ass cool ass dude real 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 real, real easy to work with you know what i mean in terms of just so many different things Let's see. Uh, yo, it's Thanksgiving is just this upcoming Thursday. That shit's going to be wild. That shit's going to be fire. Hey! <laughs> Thank you for the host. <laughs> yeah! Yahoo! I don't need a soundboard. I am my own soundboard. Yo, what's up, Jason? Sam's still there? Yeah, man, OG Sam, Big Sam. Hell yeah, he still does uh he does all the uh, tree lot um building and stuff, and I always work with him when it comes to painting everything and doing Yes! Thank you. We hit 53 last stream. I raffled off some sticker packs. Um really I'm just so happy. Like I said earlier, um on my way to affiliate, like, uh, the days, the hours, the followers got it locked. The hardest part, as you know, is the average three viewers per stream. But, you know, you just do what you got to do. Um, right now, we're doing a little bit of the podcast and some vlogging. And then after that, I'll probably jump into some gaming. I don't know if I want to do some Halo or if I should continue the San Andreas campaign. Because uh, kind of put that on the back burner when Halo came out. What do you expect? You know what I'm saying? Halo is... It's my shit. It's my shit, chat. Boy. Um, yo, let me know if the music's too loud. Uh, from the levels I see, it looks pretty good. Uh, so... Just a lot of things. Like I'm saying, dude. Thanksgiving's just a few days away. It's this upcoming week. Christmas is around the corner. And with everything, times, times are hard. Times are a little tough. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm trying to get um, it cracking, taking donations for a new uh, video editor. I'm trying to get, just so I can get back onto my YouTube grind, up onto my um, posting and stuff like that. Yeah, Adriana's still in Garden. Um, I just seen her a couple days ago. You already know. If you know, you know. Couple updates with me. 
Uh, kind of in talks with getting a partnered sponsorship with an energy company. Uh, it's not G Fuel or Gamer Subs or Rogue or what's the other one? The one with the bunny sneak. It's going to be, um, yo, quick tip. I always have my phone viewing me, my laptop viewing me, and Sammy's phone view. Yeah, I feel that. I'm all about to like be on that shit. I should probably just do that. That's a good idea. Were you in an incognito mode or were you just like on it? I think I could just go straight from my browser. Twitch.tv. I like how I can't spell my own fucking name. Network. There it is. There it is. Good idea. I'm about to bust out like three other laptops straight up. Anyway, I appreciate that. Those are some hustle, 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 hustle. But uh, yeah, there's a couple things I'm trying to get. As you can see here, uh, I point to it. Right, right there. This guy right here, little robot man in the corner. Right there. They have a they have a Siberian Husky, but you gotta buy it. It's a premium content, but I want to buy it and like name it after my Husky Ursula, because if you go to Nat Illist, she has a little pug for her pug. Which is super cute, but I want to get my husky, so I want to buy that. I want to buy, um... Good, good, yeah, good one. That's a good one. Good tips. Good tips from other streamers. So I want to get, I want to get an Ursula Capamon. I want to get my film editor, new video editor up. I want to get a, um... How's the stream? Is it choppy? Does it look choppy? On my uh, extra display, it looks a little, little weird. Um, okay, yes. Trying to get a video there. Trying to get a new cap I'm on. Trying to get, um, trying to get this sponsorship with Swift Lifestyles. It's basically like an energy drink company, right? It'd be super cute, right? Um, it's like a G Fuel. It's like a powder you mix and then you drink it. You can use it as a pre-workout. It's like to help you keep you up when you're gaming. All right, thank you. Appreciate that. Everything looks good. Um, you know, if people buy it, I get a kickback. I can get a discount code for it. And then technically, I can also get my own flavor named or inspired by me, which is pretty cool. I don't really know any other like companies that are doing that. Uh, but first, I got to get a couple orders in before I could do that. So that's something I'm working on is getting that sponsorship locked down, uh, hitting affiliate, upgrade. I need I need a video editor again. I need. Uh, I want to get an Ursula Capamon. And then as well as I think that's it. That's really I think that's everything I'm looking for right now. Kind of you know basically in a sense. Um, you know, you know. And then once I get affiliated, I can take subs. If you use Amazon Prime, you can sub to me for free. I want channel points. Yo, I'm trying to do all that, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to get on my grind. I miss last Thursday's grind. You know what? I was looking at the new Diamond and Pearl that came out. I never played the originals. So they don't really have like a place in my heart. But I do have an emulator and I would love to run Fire Red again. Or one of the OG ones. Or even Emerald would be fun to play. Uh, I would be down to do that, like... For real, 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 for real. I think that would be pretty sick. Um, after the vlog, I was thinking about just playing either Grand Theft Auto San Andreas or... More Infinite, more Halo, but I don't really have anybody on that wants to play right now some Infinite. I get solo queue. We'll see. 
Also, Loki, I'm kind of looking for some Discord. Um, Nat, do you have a Discord? Do you have a stream Discord? I'm kind of like not really sure what I want to do. Like, I want to kind of get into the theme of maybe like making like a stream team, a team of people, because I already mod for a couple people, and I would love to get them under the GMB branding. And Nat, I would definitely love to talk to you about that if you are interested. Put a couple logos up. I'll shoot you some free gear every once in a while. Some like sticker packs for giveaways. And then when I lock down the um, the energy powder drink sponsorship, uh, I'll just I'll send you some. You know what I mean? Like that sponsorship I'm gonna use for the GMB community for the GMB network. I got a lot of stuff up in the mix. You know, I could do t-shirts, hoodies, all that shit. I can do gear for for like a better price than most. You know what I'm saying? So I, I really would like to do that. You know, I kind of want to grind on that. I'm looking for people to come and be moderators or I'm like, yeah, moderators, admins in the discord. And I would like to build up the discord. You know what I mean? Like, but I want a couple people in on it. You know what I mean? If it's just me, it's, it, it'll go, it'll move, but I feel like it won't move as fast as if I didn't have enough people. And Nat, I'd love to have interview you here on Chill Time and tell us about you and how you got into gaming. Maybe a little bit of like, I mean, we really know a little bit about how you and Sammy met, but like at the same time, people that don't know you from me would, you know what I mean? Shit like that. I used to do have special guests on here all the time, but, you know, with COVID and everything. Hey, good looking out. Bro, I need to fucking get a lurk command. <laughs> I saw something on someone else's stream where they shout out people and a little thing pops up and it says, hey, shout out, whatever. I thought that was pretty fucking cool. I don't know how to do that. I'll have to ask her and see if I can get some information. There's also a stat tracker for Halo you can integrate into um, your down. That's what's... <laughs> Hell Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, I'll definitely be hitting you up outside of the stream to talk details and seeing about getting all that done and maybe getting you and Sam as admins in the, into the Discord and then giving you your own little section. It's something that I would be interested in for sure. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, family. Let's, let's build and grow together. That's what I'm. T and that's what my main point is. It's like, let's get this grind. Let's make it happen. You know what I mean? A lot of people with everything. He does a good job. His, your stuff always looks great. Does Does he do your graphics too? Do you have a Christmas overlay up? I thought that was kind of cool. Where like the holidays and events, you do different ones. Like your Halloween one was really cool. Like all the like spider webs and stuff. And I was like, oh, that'd be a cool idea. That's something to integrate into into what I would do too. I really, I really like it. I really, really like it. Oh, yo, check this out. Guess who picked up a new Charizard? That's right. Fuck. Okay, so the 25th anniversary Pokemon celebration set is out. Went to Frank and Sons. I had a shiny Charizard that I sold. I made 120 off of it. I, I sold him, and then I bought three boxes of celebrations at 60 a pop. Most places wanted 70, 75. I got a guy to go down to 60. And um, I pulled a 25th anniversary Charizard. I can actually show you. Not only did I pull a Charizard, but I got the big three. So, that Charizard I pulled, 150, easy, ungraded, fresh out of the pack. But you know me, I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that thing, bro. Out of six fucking ETBs, we pulled one, and I pulled it. 
Yo, so yeah, definitely would like to give you a spot in my Discord for that if you're interested in that. And then along with me, you, and Sam, and then whoever else we could bring in to mod or admin, we could just grow that shit. I would definitely give you like a set of roles for your followers, your own section, all that shit. And then um, I would even be willing to pay for um, like a premium Me 6 to get make sure all your shit shouted out every time you go live and i would love to, i would do all that for you nat so we'll, we'll we'll get down the brass tactics you know what i'm saying uh and there's just so much more coming up you know we could even talk like merch and logos and shit you know i can print stickers so i could send you a set of your own stickers if you wanted to do giveaways or you i if you wanted to do like i don't know i even have a connect for people that do like couple hundred for like a decent price if you wanted to do every time someone resubs they get a, a sticker there's just so many ideas we can implement in it that i have and i'm sure that you have and together you, you already know a family needs to stick together and that's what i feel like you know um but yeah i've uh, just been working on some shit you know just grinding making it happen being happy on a bunch of different shit and just ready to like assemble like Voltron, you know what I'm saying? You know, like like some Wu Tang shit, you know what I'm saying? Let's make it happen. Bom 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 bom. How's the music? It's um, if you ever need good music to stream, that's like copyright free. Uh, Harris Heller stream beats but only by harris heller he's got a whole wide selection of shit for you to use free he gets ad revenue from the plays and all that shit he's on spotify he's on youtube um great music dude so they call him the stream doctor uh i watch a lot of his videos i'm setting shit up and this and that but he's got it he's got it he's got it you know what i'm saying and um it's cool because, like, with the copyright free music, you're not going to get slammed by YouTube. And then Twitch doesn't give a fuck because it's not. You know what I mean? So they're not muting your shit. Eventually, I would like to get something to where I could separate the music from the stream and save a, a video of it without it. But that's that's later on down the line once I've become more well-established. And there's a way to do it. I know there is. I've seen videos on it. Uh, but, yeah. Anyways, uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, just some big moves I've been thinking about just making and running, you know. And the hey, Frankie, what's good? Ooh, the Charizard. Find other people Discord to connect with. Dude, I'm in so many Discords, it's not even funny. I'm in my homegirl Stormborns. I'm in the RGL one. I'm in uh, the Halo one. I'm in Duff's Campfire. I am in the Hellraising Gaming one. I'm in Reload Studios. I'm in, and I just uh, been like before this, I like dropped my live on like maybe four or five different discords. It's a hit or miss, you know what I mean? Like some people will come and watch, some people don't. But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. You know, if I can grab someone cool, if not, it is what it is. It's like catching tags. I catch a tag somewhere, someone sees it, someone doesn't. It is what it is. You see it when you see it, you know what I mean? Oh, you know what? That's one place I'm not utilizing properly is Facebook groups. I'm on there for, like, all my vinyl crafting stuff. I'm on there for GoPro stuff, but I've never thought about doing streaming stuff on there. I need to get rid of one of these bots. It's either going to be Streamlabs or Nightbot. I might keep Nightbot and get rid of the Streamlabs bot. Hell yeah. That's what's up, girl. Thank you. I appreciate that. Fucking Nat. Ugh, such a Such a beast. Love you, fam. Let's see. 
I don't really think I have any more updates. Just been on my Pokemon grind, which was cool. Got my fix. Pulled the Charizard. Chasing a set. Chasing a Master Master set. On that shit. Fucking Reddit. I need to take the notifications off for Reddit. Um... 24th anniversary, I only need like 12 more cards to complete the set, but I want to go beyond that And I want to get all the promos that are out and all the all the other other shit. So like there's like a couple different Box sets that I want to pick up There's a premium edition of like some of the boxes. I bought that come with like a gold Pikachu card And I want to say it's a pokeball or it might be a Charizard yeah, I think I will get rid of the stream bot and just do the night bot. I've seen so many more people use night bot. And so I'm probably just going to do that. I got to remember and pick a day and just kind of do that. But right now, the setup's pretty Gucci. I got it whatever I need. Like if I'm going to transition to Xbox, if I'm going to... I can. Yes. Let's see if I can get this right. I got to go to Twitch. Once I hit affiliate, I don't think it, I won't be. Right now, I dual stream to Twitch and YouTube. But once I hit affiliate, I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to do Twitch. And just upload videos to YouTube. Uh, do, do, do. I can mod your comments. I don't want to mod your comments. I want to make you mod. No, I don't want to reply to you. Oh, you have two T's in your name. How did I miss that? Am I doing it right? Oh, there. I just had to click on your name. I feel stupid. You could do it by typing. I tried to be all hacker cool, but I couldn't do it. know something simple like hey thanks for the lurk i appreciate you coming through and dropping a, a lurk please make sure you um i i saw one say like oh make sure you lower lower the volume but don't mute the the stream so the lurk counts and um stay up and stay fresh something like that something like that something like that dude. you know what i'm saying anyways but yeah, 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 yeah. You see, this music's kind of popping, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything's everything. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Dude, I, like, need, like, a fucking camel pack because I, like, get super thirsty. I don't know if it's the bright light that comes out from that shit, but, like, I be getting thirsty when I be streaming. I don't know about y'all. I don't know about y'all, but me right here, I just be like, oh, my God, like, Look, I get a, I fill this up with ice, I get a big thing of water, and I'm always done before I even get into any of the action. 
hard getting into any of the, you know what I'm saying, other thing. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? No wild crocodile? Anyways. But yeah. The Pokemon card stuff was really dope. I was really hyped to do that. I did a IRL stream on it, but I understand we're in the time of 5G, but that shit was not clear at all. Using fucking uh, T-Mobile data, that shit was really pixelated. And Loki kind of just wished I just would have had my homie film it, and then I would have uploaded it to here or over there on YouTube later. Just to get the better quality, you know what I mean? But uh, you live and you learn. What are you going to do, you know? you, you try. Now, that's, that goes back to the last time we did this, last Sunday. And it turned more of into a, a TED Talk, pep talk, instead of like a podcast. Where I was like, you have to fail to succeed. I mean, you can try it and, and succeed on your first try. I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm just saying that most people fail. And you need to succeed because you need to understand what works, what doesn't work, and then adapt and try and keep going and tweak or manipulate whatever it is you got to do to dial in the settings for whatever it is you're trying to achieve. And figuring out doing IRL streams, it's not the best quality. I should just film it, edit it, and upload it to YouTube be the best place and then uh, or or you know you can upload it to here on twitch and do it and i can sit there and just talk in the chat while the video's running whatever you know what i mean the platform's a platform but and, and you know like right now i have a bunch of videos saved i'm just waiting to get some extra cash for that editor yeah that's what's up Sick! I like that. I like that. I like that. Looks good. Looks hell. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Dude, one day I'm just going to get drunk on here and just going to put on some beats and I'm just going to start rapping. And, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be like, yo, check it. I'm coming for you to wreck. You got the microphone and I'm going to have to reschedule it. Like a one drug. I'm talking about that marijuana getting faded, elevated. All you motherfuckers hate it. And I'm here, no fear. Look me in my eyes as I got the tears rolling down from your surprise. And I'm coming at you at your demise because I'm the fucking big motherfucker like large fries. Give me that Coke. Give me that Big Mac. I want to get that paper. Got to get the big stack. You know what I mean? Shit like that. When I'm drunk, it's even better. When I'm crossfaded, it's fucking godlike. Not Eminem godlike, but um, a couple tears under that. Just saying. Just super fucking saying. I should do that. I try to get more creative with my stuff. Uh, yo, this upcoming Tuesday, some Halo Infinite with some friends. And then I'm also going to be doing some artwork. So Tuesday, artwork um, schedule is still on. It might be after some gaming because usually my East Coast homies kind of knock out early and then from there i can get into just painting i want to do a couple aprons make some side cash like i said the holidays are coming up your boys grinding just trying to make it happen you know what i mean dude wow oh, that's a good one for channel points on the freestyle oh i'm so that's why i want to hit affiliates so bad because channel points are fucking fun like super fun it's it's intriguing. There's all I just I love it. It's cool. It's cool shit. You know what I'm saying? I, if I look at every I, when I go to when I lurk in other people's streams, I always look at their channel points to see what they got going on. Some of them I'm like, this is outrageous, and some of them I'm like, this is this is gold, baby. Need that right there. You know, you know, you know. They say good artists copy. But better artists steal. Sometimes you gotta steal something. You know? Steal an idea, borrow an idea, whatever you wanna call it. But that's a good one. I'll remember that. For sure, for sure. Sick, right? Let's see. I got some new ideas coming up for the with the clothing for GMB Co. GMB clothing. Uh, if y'all know what the polo bear is, it's like a little teddy bear. He's always in a polo and it's just like real chill. I have an artist that I want to um, commission 
to paint me a bear, but I want like a spray can out of his back pocket. I want him holding a gas mask in his hand, and I want a blunt in his mouth. Um, and then I'm gonna make some make some fucking GMB polo bear shirts. You know what I'm saying? Like some gangsta ass shit. I'm trying to like, yo, next year's goals. I either want to get one of these three items, okay? Either a sewing machine, an embroidery machine, or a 3D printer to elevate the game to the next level on things I want to offer. Just random shit that I want to do. 3D print some emblems, some fucking two-finger pinky rings, just some shit I got been in my mind that I would really like to fuck with. NFTs too. I really want to do some GMB Gas Mask Boy NFTs. Like I think those would be popping. But I got to get more into it. Like I understand the concept of what it is. I just don't know how to make it a reality, right? Yeah, embroidery. Dude, you go on TikTok there's so many dope people doing like Naruto embroidery. I seen this dude do a sick ass dark magician and behind him the circle with the spells with all Louis Vuitton. That shit was dope as fuck. I don't know how he gets away with the logos like that. But you got to be a little bit more careful because that fool can get sued or a cease and desist. But that shit was popping. Not going to lie. I was like, damn, if they made that in my size, I would rock the shit out of that, huh? Yeah, I know, my boy. Y'all already know. I would do that. Do that. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I like... Do I have one? I have one. Hold on. Dude, I want to do... I want to make my own... I want to make my own Pokemon. You know what I mean? I want to do... I want to do a Bezo evolves into a King Bezo, and then the final evolution is a Grandmaster Bezo. But if you give a King Bezo uh, a Gas Mask to hold, he turns into a Gas Mask Boy. I want to do that. I want to make a Gas Mask Boy trainer. I want to make my own fucking cards. I've been looking into that shit. Like, legit, with holographics and all that. I was, like, really, really, like, thinking about it. There's a couple companies out there. That'll make you like your own baseball Pokemon type of card thing. They're a little expensive, but I think they would be sick as fuck. And if I combined them with NFT, so like say I only did 50 of like myself as a Pokemon trainer, and each one of them came with an NFT, so that way you know that's like an original and it's not a replica and you own the right to one. Just shit like that. Like I got like shit in the future all like mapped out to a degree. It's more like a rough thing, but. Speaking of anime, if you ever watch um, Way of the House Husband on Netflix, it's about a Yakuza boss who leaves the life to be a house husband. He gets falls in love and gets married, and that's, you know, while she works, he takes care of everything. Well, I did this sticker right here, okay? I'm going to show you right now. There's a roach in the house, and he goes to spray it. I literally paused... The fucking screen, screenshotted it, and I made my graffiti sticker. Tell me that's not sick as fuck. So if you ever see these, it says Yoda on it. Yoda. That's my graph name. I'm from GMB, TWA, OKF, and DEA. That's me. If you see him around in the Southern California area. Actually, even up north, I actually sent a grip to Frisco. We have a homie from DEA, uh, SK1, who just mad sticker bomber. Just gets up tons. I sent him... A grip of stickers. And he threw my ass up. So I'm up in San Jose, San Francisco, the Bay Area. Um, at one point, I had Bezo stickers in Japan, uh, Australia, New Zealand. Because I had shipped some sticker packs out. But I don't write Bezo no more. I write Yoda. So it's like, you know, it is what it is. Time changes. You grow, you elevate, you change personas. I kind of got a persona for everything. Gas Mask Boy is just like... The umbrella, and underneath that you have, like, 
Okay, so you have the GMP Network, right, which stands for Gas Mask Boy Network. I am Gas Mask Boy. I do GMB Co. The Clothing, GMB Media, where I do, like, live media coverage of events with the homies from Block Life Entertainment. I'm going to start up the GMB Productions to do, like, video editing and camera work and all that. I got two other people on the East Coast that want to do the media, like they do photography and shit, and they want to do it under the GMB branding. So I'm going to hook them up. Um, GMB Media will also do like some of the live streamers, stuff like that. Uh, what else I got to do? I want to do the GMB GG, which is going to be like the gaming community, the clan, which would be uh, Gas Mask Bombers, part of the GMB network. So I want to do some of that. Um, and then I also have uh, Yoda, Yoda, Y-O-D-U-H. Sometimes I spell it Y-O-D-A-H. That's my graffiti shit. So I do all my graffiti stuff under that name. So if you see that name, that's that's also me. And I get GMB up as a graffiti crew, as a Grandmaster Bombers. You know what I'm saying? I do that shit too. I've really taken the GMB idea and concept, the the network, and expanded it to everything. Virtual, um, so like live art and digital art, digital media stuff and we're talking like youtube streaming and stuff like that i do a lot of photoshop work i do a lot of sticker stuff i do a lot of clothing i do it all I, that's so like and like if people want to get down with the gmb network i want to put people on you know what i mean like but like i just don't want people to think they're going to get a free ride that's not how this shit works i've worked hard to get to where i'm at and establish the network that i have currently built and I would like to take some people in that, that if they want to grind under that and they want to do the name, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to hook you up with a couple logos, some stickers, some gear. And the more you push it, the more I'm going to help you out. You know what I mean? And that's just basically what I want to do with that. And it's just, I've, I started, I stop it, I started, I stop it. It gets time consuming. It gets, um, it gets a little daunting, you know, when you're like the only one pushing it. And you got people that are like, yo, I'm down with you. And then, like, they don't really do anything. Because no one has the same kind of heart that you do. It, it's, it's, it's sad for me. It's like, like, I want to be the best that I can be. And if I can help you at the same time and we can grind together, then let, let's do that. What happened? My camera went out of focus. Okay. Um, yeah, I did do that. Thank you. I photoshopped all that. That shit looks good, right? It's a cool sticker. I'm just saying, you know, Toy Killer, it's a graffiti ink uh, I do with another homie. Uh, I, I kind of do that separate from GMB. I mean, I do a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm hoping something picks up, something sticks. Block Life Entertainment wants me to come do a couple tracks. They're going to shoot me some beats. I'm down with that, you know? I want to do a mixtape season of the gas mask and do a little, like, EP or a little banger of some tracks and shit. And, you know, I just expand it. Yo, yo, check it out. You know what I mean? I just... I like building. I like creating. What, when, when I tell you I'm a content creator, I mean that to the fullest. Because I create content. Whether it's digital, physical, art, Photoshop, stickers, graffiti, hand paintings, all that shit. I love it. I can't get enough. I wish I could do this full time straight up. If I could quit my job and make that money. Yeah. I All this. I did all, all that right there. Chill time. I, at first it was going to be a 420 because like, yo, it's chill time. Like we're going to smoke a blunt and talk about some shit. But when I tried to do that with when I was doing the cushy branding, the K4G, the Kush 420 gang stuff. A lot of people were like, that's dope. But they're like, oh, I don't watch it because I don't smoke weed. I'm like, yeah, but we don't just talk about weed stuff. We talk about everything. And that's when I kind of learned, like, you really got to kind of be careful with your branding to a degree. Because, like, I was marketing to stoners. But then, like, if you weren't a stoner, people were like, oh, I don't get it. Or, like, I had another homegirl. She was like, oh, your podcast? I don't watch it because I'm not a gamer. First couple guests, that's who I had were gamers. She was like, I don't, I don't, doesn't apply to me. But I was like, that was just like one episode. The second episode, we did a sex talk. The other episode, we did music. We did all that. But like, 
branding it a certain way, you just it's kind of hard. It's like you want to be open end, right? I want everybody to come and watch me. But you can't market to everybody. You kind of got to try to pick a niche. And that's hard. Because I don't want to be just for graffiti writers. I don't want to be just for stoners. I don't want to be just for gamers. I do all that. I am me. I am the content. Subscribe to me. Because you like me. You know what I'm saying? And that's just like something that I was just, it's, it's hard. Like, like, I, like a lot of, watch a lot of YouTube videos, right? See, right? You got to say, like, so Sam says you got to niche down, but it's like, I don't want to block people from discovering me. But at the same time, people will follow you for that one thing, right? And that's what I, ah, that's to me, it's like mind boggling. But that's how the system works. That's how the algorithm works. If you get famous for being a Halo player, that's really all you can do. Because if you start doing other shit, people that come to you for Halo are going to be like, this isn't Halo, what is this? Fuck this. And they're going to dip, or they're going to unfollow, or unsubscribe, or whatever. And you're like, fuck, dude. Like, That's the hard part, is when you're trying to brand yourself, but you also got to understand that there's a niche. And like, I try to play with that idea, like, oh, like I'm here for urban stuff. Urban stuff can be all kinds of shit, right? But at the same time, it's kind of like what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do urban gear, street gear. I do graffiti. I do art. I do, you know, urban stuff. Sam says, not blocking per se, but build an audience first off a topic and let them stay watching because they like watching you. I. So, like, what do I build upon? Gaming? Do I build upon Pokemon's popping off right now? Yeah, but I also I don't want to get stuck in that niche of just being, a, like I said, a Pokemon person. People come to me just for that, and when they don't get that, they don't like it. Bro, did you see the Charizard I pulled last stream? It was an IRL stream. It was shitty as fuck because 5G is just not strong enough. Maybe 6G, 7G, we can get HD, uh, IRL content, or whatever, but using the Twitch app, in the parking lot, as I was doing a pack pack unboxings, um, that shit came out subpar. And I don't want my shit to be at least at least 720 quality. You know what I mean? 1080, fuck 4K. I'm not even. Uh, it doesn't even matter. You know what I mean about that? At that is the juncture. But that's that, that's one of the main struggles for me. You know what I'm saying? Is like. If I'm going to do anything, it's going to be fucking graffiti. Because that's my bread and butter. That's what I do. That's what everything stems off of. The clothing line stems off of that. The artwork stems off of that. The fucking... The way my graphics are set up. The Chill Time logo right here. Based off of some graffiti fundamentals that I fucking do. You know what I mean? And then if I can incorporate some other stuff. Like some gaming and some nerdy shit in there. You know, let's do it. I, I you know... It's, It's like I want people to think that they're investing in me as a person instead of me as a certain type of content creator, if that makes sense. But, you know, you really got to work at it. You can do it. I've seen people do it. There's some people I follow. They do a wide variety of shit. Okay? Dude, okay, so I, I, I'm on TikTok. I, I do TikTok. I, I've, I got some pretty decent okay views on there i just gotta get the grind back up on that and that comes when i finally get some money for the fucking video editor for the filmora x video editor you know what i'm saying but i'll put some stuff on there you know what i mean you gotta have a certain amount of people before you can go live on tiktok surprise i would love to do that here on twitch Donate five bucks, get your name tagged out. Donate ten dollars, I'll do a throwy. Donate twenty five bucks, I'll do a th three four color piece, and then I'll send it to you if you're sending me twenty five dollars. You know what I mean? Shit like that. I would love to do that live. Yes, it's one thousand. It's over one thousand. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you have a. Oh, oh you, you do this. You subscribe to that Premiere Pro? Ah, bro. Premiere Pro. Adobe? I'd have to learn it. And that's like. Filmora is easy. It's only 40 bucks. 45 bucks for the year. I just got to grind it out. I just got to either get a couple dono or, or, or sell a couple artworks or something. But it's, yeah, I, li I like Filmora because it's easy. Drag and drop here. I can do this. I can do that. Da, 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 da. Just sitting there playing with it, I figured all it out. Like, real easy. Bam, 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 bam. Cool. This does what I want it to do. Premiere is kind of like, I don't know. It's a little more advanced and I can just stuff, you know. That's true, too. It is an investment. 100%. Just like learning Photoshop was an investment. Just like learning Illustrator was an investment. You just got to get on it. You just got to make it happen. And I appreciate that. When I was painting um, those uh, Home Depot things for the tree lot, I thought about going live and doing it on there. I thought I just really did. That probably would have been dope as fuck. I don't like this song. You know, but like, when you get into a setting like this, right, I'm in my room, I can't just spray paint in here. You know, this is a good place to gain. This is a good place to do digital graphics. Sure, hand painting is easy because I get the GoPro down version and do some stuff. You know what I mean? I see what you're saying. Like, like just like the TikToks, right? So we could do up to three minutes on there now, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, right now, bro. Okay, 45 bucks. I can get the editor for a year. I get a year license. No problem. No watermarks, full system, everything. See, and that's something that I was doing when I had the editor lash uh, a couple months ago before it, the license expired. Is I was shooting shit to YouTube. I was doing YouTube shorts. I was doing TikTok. I would post the same TikToks onto my Twitter. Uh, I would try to uh, take that same format and throw it on IG. I, I, I was on it. The hustle was... Trying to get people to, 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 to come, right? Here, here, here. Come visit this. Come visit that. But only recently have I focused more onto just like the Twitch stuff. Have I been seeing that grow and mold and snowball? You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the, oh, the TikTok algorithms are discoverable. Just, it's just the content. And you know what? I, for a couple months, I was just really depressed. And just not on, on so another level or under a level, I should say. And I just didn't do a lot of shit. Do you know how much summer content I have from when we um, we went to SeaWorld, Knott's Berry Farm, and the San Diego Zoo in one week? And I recorded so much content with my GoPro, my Hero 9, and I never edited any of it. Because I was like, at one point, like, this is so much content. And I was, like, filming 15 seconds here, film a minute here, film a minute there. And then I just was like, fuck. I just mentally psyched myself out. But, like, I just don't want to go through all this content. And then I never did. And I was like, fuck. Son of a bitch. Bro, Instagram Reels, something that I haven't fucked with that I need to fuck with. Like, straight up. Because you know what? As far as I know, Instagram Reels don't give a fuck about copyright music. There's a bunch, there's stuff that I want to do, and I'm like, ah, I can't upload that to YouTube. It's going to get taken down or muted. You know what I'm saying? Joanna, okay, Drew's, okay, Joanna, Reels of her coloring and coloring books. She's only had two followers on her IG after she posted a reel of her coloring. She got 50 to 60 followers. Sick. Okay, like... Another part of that would be, am I putting my hand up too much? Like my fucking autofocus is fucking up. Um, 
Thanks for the host, my dude. <laughs> Imagine I beatbox with this. That didn't work, but um, people say you know fame does stuff to you or this and that. And I, you know you can kind of understand it, but you don't really understand it till you're in it. And people don't like confrontation. I'm kind of one that will do everything in my power to not be confrontational. Because once we get into confrontation, it's all, all bets are off. It's like, what's Gucci? What's good? It's OKF right here. Organized crime, baby. And it's like sometimes taking my GoPro and filming in places, I feel I feel shy. I feel like kind of like, man, I don't want someone to be like, hey, what are you doing? Hey, you can't do that. I'm not trying to be on nobody's Karen watch list bullshit. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to do any, none of that. It's just like sometimes I discourage myself from filming because I'm like, I don't want to be kicked out. I don't want to be asked to leave. I would feel embarrassed, but it's always a no if you never ask or do it. Or it's better to ask for forgiveness than for permission in certain senses, right? Sam says, uh, doesn't have to be perfect videos at all, bro. It's just about content. Perfection can come later when the audience is there. Okay. I feel you on that. You know, that's, that's, you're right. I should just do it. I should just record. Just make it happen. Get the content. Do something with it. Sit on it. You are your own biggest critic. And like sometimes I feel like if it's not up to a standard, I'd rather just not do it. But it's like at this point, it should it should technically be okay, right? Like if you mess up, you mess up. It goes back to what I said last week. You need to fail to succeed. If you don't fail, you don't know what you need to, tw uh, tw um, what is it? Tweak, amend, adjust. You, you got to figure these things out. It's a trial and error process, right? So that's just one thing that you got to do. And you, you got to take your mind and change the way you think into that. And it would, that one of those things for me would be to just make it happen. Just do it. Just run it. So what? I'm at a point to where I could do that and make mistakes and it'll be okay. The fear, and then the more you do it, the more that fear or that anxiety goes away of what if. Get rid of those what ifs. I said it last time. I took all my shots this year. I fucking asked every single girl I had a crush out. Said, hey, I think this is what's up. You want to whatever? No? All good. I appreciate it. Just let you know that I think about you in that way. And if you ever feel the same or you come single, you come hit me up anytime right here. You know what I'm saying? What ifs are bullshit. Don't play that game. I can't talk to this girl because then I might not be able to get with this. Might not? Get rid of that. Figure it out. Yes or no? What's really on the table? Because that was one of the things for me is I thought, I, you know, oh, I could do all this or all this is offered to me. It's not. You got to realize what's really being presented before you and what's, no, that's off the table, playboy. That's not, that's not for you. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Nat says, because I was spending lots of money and time trying to get my eyelash videos on TikTok to be perfect and nothing popped off. Then I stopped trying to make TikToks all professional. Once I did that, I posted the dumbest video and it went viral and hit 2 million views. Oh my God. You got 2 million views on a TikTok? Holy shit. And you know what's funny? It'd be the dumbest things that go viral, right? It'd be the most. Second, third thought thing, right? Yes, bro. I want to do that. I want to turn some of my artwork into NFTs, bro. I just need to understand the concept of how to actually produce that. How to get those on the blockchain. I'm using words that I just kind of understand. You know what I mean? Like, once I figure that out, you best I want to be on that tip, bro. I want to sell. Like I was saying, I want to do, like, some Gas Mask Boy trainer Pokemon cards. And I only want to do X amount under 100 for sure. And each one comes with an NFT code so you know that you have an original. And no matter what, no one can tell you you don't technically own one. You don't own a copy. You don't own a fake. You got an original from your boy. And if it grows into something else, dope. If it doesn't, it doesn't. 
Dude, I want you on the show. I want you to come through. For reals. It's easy. I'll come bring my camera, set it up. We'll take a quick video, side to side, talk. And then I'll throw it on an overlay like this and upload it. And it shoots you a copy. You can upload it. All this shit. Hustle. Hustle gang. Big time. GMP Network on the move. I've got so many plans. I've got so many ideas that I want to make happen. One thing that's really helped me out, I don't have it. It's not in, it's, it's in my car. So I work at Home Depot. I work, you know, I, I sell a lot of bare paint. And we have a, a rep in the store who gave me, it's just a notebook. It's like a little notebook, like a little journal. It says bear on it. He's like, hey, man, you, if you think you would write in this, use it. And I was like, all right. So I carried it around and I did a couple doodles in it. And then I would write down customers' orders. Using that to organize my life changed me. Straight up. Because I forget shit. I'm a stoner. I, I, I get home. I want to play games, this and that. Writing everything down and, and being like, do I have anything to work on today? You know what? I do have options. I can physically see the goals I want to hit. And if I feel like skipping them today and taking a lazy day, I'm going to do that. But I also won't forget because I have it written down. That shit right there has kept me on pace for a lot of things. Tip from your boy. Yo, I got Zeus in the chat. Loving the content right now, man. Be sure to hit me up after stream. Hell yeah, my dude. For sure. What's an NFT? MFT, NFTs are on it right now, brother. With the metaverse coming around the corner, NFTs will be perfect to dabble in. Hell yeah, bro. The fucking meta, the, that whole meta Facebook shit. People are, are eerie about it. I want to run full speed into that. I want an Oculus Quest so bad. I want to jump into that shit. That shit looks dope. Sick ass fool. That shit is cool. I don't know. The best way I can explain an NFT is it's basically a way to validate something. To say that something is an original and not a copy because it's on the blockchain and some outside sources are used to confirm it. So, like, basically, I really only know it as, like, digital items or drawings or artwork that's live right now. It's like being able to own something digitally. Like, uh, okay, best, best way to describe it, Michael Jordan has a famous photo where he's, like, dunking, right? Somebody took that. Put it on the blockchain, so it was looked at. Yeah, here you go. It's basically uh, digital items. Think of buying one of one art piece, right? So there's a anybody could just right click, save as that picture, right, of Jordan dunking. But through the NFT system or whatever, you can say I own the original. It's on the blockchain. I have it. Those are all duplicates. They're not originals. And that's what I understand. And I think that's cool as fuck. I don't know how it's verified or what. Or people say it burns a shit ton of energy. It's wasteful. But yeah. Dude, there's... Okay, you ever see those weird monkey, like, pixel photos? Or like... And like, all like... Like, Steph Curry has one and all these other people. They're like 30,000... 30,000 each, right? But if you own one, you get invited to special events. You own one, you are now a part of this community. The way that they were working with this shit is fucking mind-blowing and sick as fuck. Like, another thing is, um, rappers are using NFTs to sell their shit. You got people doing albums, mixtapes, and then they blow up, and then you own an NFT from that person, and it's worth a few different, few K, few hundred K. It's like, it's ridiculous. If you ever play, okay, let's see, um... Doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't. You really got to look into it, Zeus. If you ever play CSGO, it's like the rare knives people open in packs. Yeah, yeah. Ownership of something digital. Right. And through the blockchain, that's how they are able to verify that's an original. It's like an algorithm, right? It is wild. That shit sounds dope as fuck. My music stop? That's the end of that playlist? Uh, we're gonna go. We're going back, back to Cali, Cali. Okay, we're gonna change that. We're gonna jump into.
Pixel, low key. We're gonna do the low key playlist by Harris Heller. There, that looks better. But yeah. Hell yeah. Hey, I appreciate it. Stay up and stay fresh. You going to bed? Hell yeah, work at 5 a.m. Hey, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate everything. I'll be in touch so we can talk logistics about, you know, everything else we talked about. Appreciate it, fam. So much. Bro, okay, so like the new Matrix movie coming out, they're doing NFT avatars. I'm not sure if it's for the metaverse or whatever, but you you can buy these avatars. And then you can choose to give the avatar the red pill or the blue pill. Find out the Matrix is real or stay in the system. Bro, it's changing the marketing game for these motherfuckers. There's so much hype behind it. Even I'm trying to get one. I don't even know how or how much, but I know I want one. Crazy shit. It's like... And then you take that money and it's like crowdfunding on a whole nother level to a degree. It's like, shit. Fuck yeah. Let's make it happen, Captain. You know what I mean? Shit. It's dope. It's just stuff that I really want to get into. Really stuff I want to learn. Wow, we've been doing this for an hour and ten minutes. Not bad. I was only thinking about doing the chill time for like maybe 20 minutes. But... Thank you, everybody in the chat, for being here and participating and keeping the um, momentum rolling about the different things we've been talking about. When the meta is released to the public, everything will make much more sense. True. Uh, but I kind of want to be... Don't we all want to be on the ground floor? I would think so. I don't know. Zuckerberg can fucking suck it. Jeffrey Bezos. That song was stuck in my head all day today at work. I don't know why. I don't know why. Shit. Um, yo, coming up. Hey, right, thanks for the lurk, my dude. I appreciate it. Stay up and stay fresh. I fucking, um, gonna be painting. I'm gonna try to, ah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my GoPro and I'm gonna record it. We're gonna be doing some, like, seasonal Christmas stuff this Saturday, the 27th. Out in, um, South Central with the Vermont Art District, with the, uh, Wall Assassins Graffiti Crew I'm in and maybe some of the DEAs the Dominating Every Artist Crew it's going to be dope I'm going to do some character work there are going to be a few homies out there uh, that's an event coming up January 15th got an event coming up Block Life Entertainment I'm going to be vending uh, uh, gear live at the event the flyer circulating Block Life Entertainment I'll be reposting the flyer on my uh, shit so, please follow me on my Instagram, on my Twitter. Um, I, you could do Facebook, I guess. I have a Facebook page that I need to rework. If that makes sense. I just got to update some things on it. I was using it for like... Because I was trying to stream on Facebook, but I kind of got tired of the chat not being up on. Because I use Restream to right now stream to Twitch and YouTube. But since Twitch is popping off, I'm probably just going to dedicate it just to Twitch. And then um, uh, use YouTube just for like standalone edited videos. And let's see where that goes. But you know how it is. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Like, right now, if I click on it, yeah, all seven people are from Twitch right now that are viewing me. Again, thank you. Thank you. One time for everybody in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, yeah, a couple of events coming up. And then if I can get some promos made for some uh, sweaters, some crewnecks. Definitely going to do that, hopefully, right after Thanksgiving or maybe on Thanksgiving Day because I'm not – we'll see. I am not. I got, like, Tuesday coming up off, so I work tomorrow, Tuesday off. I want to use that time. I try to use my downtime to push other projects, right? But, like, I want to kind of make some quick cash. I might paint a couple aprons, and then I might do um, 
some gaming streams that day, and then I, I might do some clothing stuff too. I know a lot of people want to do like check out some of the clothing stuff I do, and I'm kind of down to do that too, you know, like little behind the scenes, like this is how I use my heat press. This is a basic printer I use, and this is how I print my gear. It's how I print my stickers, right? A little bit of that, a little bit of BTS behind the scenes. People that are interested. Because, look, I'm an average Joe like you. I fucking dropped out of college. I had maybe a B, average B rating in high school. And we're talking, I graduated in 07. And I've self-taught a lot of shit to myself. I have failed so many times to learn how to adjust like I always say, and dial in and tweak to where I do everything with a silhouette vinyl cutter, a Canon inkjet printer, and a uh, heat press from a heat press nation. And those three things, I can run stickers, I can run t-shirts, I can run digital prints, I can print photos. I, I, got, I get ink for the low on Amazon. It's like 14 bucks for a full set of all the inks tried and i've tried and tested and it works so far shit looks good i'm telling you look i'm gonna show you right now this was printed on the inkjet printer on heat transfer vinyl printable heat transfer vinyl and i pressed it on the shirt Looks good, right? Little bit of bleach and some regular white vinyl. This is what I made. Same thing with this one. Bleach on a pink hoodie and tan, tan vinyl. I pressed that shit so the, 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 the photo images, printable HTV, HTV stands for heat transfer vinyl. I found some printable heat transfer vinyl that works with an inkjet printer, not a laser printer, inkjet, and I run it through my printer and I print on there and then I just press it onto the shirt and it melts into the shirt. The ink doesn't burn, the ink doesn't run. Once you have the settings dialed in, to what you need 300 and i use 350 degrees on the heat press medium to strong pressure boom any photo you want i got a vinyl cutter silhouette cameo 4 cuts out shapes cuts out designs so if i literally just want to adjust her outline i could have just cut her out and have her on there but i like to maximize my space so i print on the whole sheet you know what i mean um the other stuff, the one color stuff, is just regular HTV heat transfer vinyl. My vinyl cutter cuts out design. I remove the, the excess I don't need, leaving just the image. Press it on a shirt. Boom. I do all this shit in my room. My room is maybe 13 by 12. I got a bed in here. As you can see in the mirror. I got a bed in here. It takes up most of the space, but I got a workbench over there. Workbench up here that I created out of cinder blocks and an OSB board. So my did design stream area, and over there is my working area. I do my pressing and all that shit over there, cutting all that, all that. You can do it. You can figure it out. I was able to figure it out. I'm a college dropout. You can do it. You can get your hustle on. You just need the right knowledge. You just need to fail straight up. Cause I had another, I had a, a brother vinyl cutter. I couldn't get shit right for the life of me. I never wanted to take order, none of that. Now with this cameo, easy. 
I've already made I probably already made my money back on that. I've done cutouts for for like baby showers. I've done custom stickers for people. I've done this. I've done that. I just don't like to do. If you're a homie, if you know me, if a homie vouches for you, I'll help you. I'll run your shit. I don't like to fucking um advertise it because dealing with regular people. I don't got time for that. I don't got time for 10 different changes to the artwork. I don't got, could you add this on? Could you add that? I don't like that shit. This is we're predetermined. I've already ordered this. I'm not, I can't change it. You know what I'm saying? I just, I deal customer service enough at the Home Depot to know that you got to be vouched for, but I'll take care of you. Yeah, see, you know what I'm saying? Like, it got crazy. But I've got it down to a science. My room is both living, um, creating, and workspace. All that. Everything I need in here. If this is the only space I ever had, I'll be fine with that for the rest of my life. Would I like to expand? Fuck yeah, I'm telling you, I want an embroidery machine. I want, um... A sewing machine. I fucking want a uh, 3D printer. I, w- I want to get a, a, a heat. Uh, a laminator is next. So I can start doing waterproof stickers. Because I've already fucked with stickers so much. I've printed. I've tried different papers. I've tried everything. I found the paper I like. I just need to waterproof it. So it doesn't run. Scratch proof. Gray. All that. That's the next step for me. And maybe I do stickers on the side. Well, I don't know. It's a cool side hustle. Again, you're going to need to be vouched for. If I don't know you, don't come to me. And don't ask me to do logos. I had a copyright bullshit. Fuck that. People get their whole shit taken away. I've seen shit where, where people are pressing NFL teams and all this stuff. And then they come in. And they raid the place. And they take all their machines. Shit that they ain't even use. Like, they're like, no, that's part of it. And then they charge you what they're charging for garments. I've, I've seen it. Dude did um, Dodgers shit. He was selling his shirts for 15 bucks. Regular Dodger shirts from the from the stadium are like 35 bucks. They were they were they were saying that these are worth 35 dollars, and he wasn't even making that kind of money. And they're like, "You owe us uh, like 10k." He's like, "I didn't even make anywhere near that." But because of copyright and shit, you got to be careful out there. You got to know what's up. I don't fuck with it. You need some custom hand drawn, I do it. Basic font type, not a problem, I do it. Other than that, find somebody else that wants to get their shit taken. I don't give a fuck. I'd rather not. Do you fuck with or without a condom? Condom all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, as a metaphor, you know what I'm saying? It's, I'm always safe. I can't, I can't. I don't want to do team stuff if, I know. You got a custom team, the little ballers? Hey, hell yeah. You come at me with a registered trademark logo, I'll block you. You a fed. You the fucking feds. Get the fuck out my DMs. Straight up. We got time for that. Oh, so we've been live for about an hour and 20 minutes. That's a pretty good point. That's a pretty good episode of Chill Time today i don't even think we need to do any gaming i think this is pretty good and we probably just ended right here on, on that uh any last minute conversations comments in the chat throw them up throw them up throw them up watch them all fall out spray cans and fat caps i'm gonna get my tags up but uh I, so hell yeah today was a good episode of chill time Try to get more guests on when I can. You know me, Mr. GMB, all day, every day. I appreciate everybody coming out in the chat. (laughs) One more time for y'all. Any closing comments, please feel free to jump into the chat. If not, we're going to go ahead and mosey on out of here. Excuse me. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna ask this. If anybody's paying attention, have you ever had gone to McDonald's and get a McDouble? No pickles, no onions. That's just my. Sometimes I leave the pickles in. I'm not a fan of onions, but 
take out the pickles and onions and tell them to add Big Mac sauce to your burger? That should have changed the way you eat McDonald's. I, I swear. I swear, bro. That shit is delicious. Fucking love it. Anyways, it's a little fat boy tip for all my stoners out there. For all my stoners. Get. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Uh, don't forget. Every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday nights, around 9 p.m. till late, your boy's up and running. If I'm gaming, I'm usually playing later. Podcast is anywhere from half an hour to two hours. Um, if I don't have anything new to talk about uh, on the podcast and I just do some gaming, uh, you can find me at GMB underscore network on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, there's my Discord if you want to jump into the Discord. Actually, I need to see if that link is still good. Uh, but if you click on the banner on the Twitch, you can get in. Um, again, thank you for coming out. And uh, let's see, this Tuesday coming up, we're going to be doing gaming and some art. I'll be doing painting a couple couple names, some commissions to make some side cash. And if there's time and it's not too late in the night, I might open up commissions to chat. We'll see how that goes. Uh, sometimes it takes me a minute. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Again, thanks for coming out. Stay up and stay fresh.